Hello guys and welcome to another A2 tutorial video. In this one I'll go through how to use the spatial storage system to move things, more specifically a blaze spawner, but it could of course be any spawner or any block. But I thought it was a fun way to, to use it, because in many mod packs we use other mods to create spawners. We capture a mob and then create a spawner from that, or we break spawners, but we rarely move them. And with A2 you can do it, so you can move your dangerous blaze spawner into a more safe area. Otherwise, I have covered the, uh, well, auto-crafting of processors and assemblers before. I will not go into any detail about that, but before we start, uh, let's go through roughly what we need. So just looking at what we need in terms of resources, you've probably been to the nether already, iron gold, and then you have probably have some pure crystal growth with fluix crystals up and running. Other than that, no big deal. You need to craft a few items. More specifically, we need four things. Spatial eye port, you'll need one of those. No big deal except for some processors. We need pylons, six of those to capture one block. I'll go through this in detail in a bit. And we need one storage cell. Various resources, but not too expensive. So give me one of those. And finally, we need, where is it? Energy cell. One of those. So let's take our pylons, iopport, cell, and energy cell. And we have one button to control it. And with that, we're actually quite ready. So let me clean this up and I'll meet you over in the nether where we can pick it up again. And before you go, remember to charge your <laughs> energy cell. Now it's filled 200k, now we're ready. And once you are in the nether, in your fortress, you've located your spawner. And here I, I have disabled it, well, as good as I can. As soon as you start to dig around in this, there might be dark spots and they can spawn again. But, uh, well, here we are, we can work in peace right now, so let's get started. So, about the pylons, we need six of them to capture one block. And we will set up a three by three move it a 3x3 three three structure spatial eye port and then two more pylons so here we have a 3x3 three three. this is the outer boundary and up here is the upper and then down here is the lower and looking into the eye port we can see that we have this uh, spatial something structure uh, one by one by one in the middle so from here we simply add the energy cell that we remembered to power up you can see that we have power here we take our empty storage cell and place it here final part one button and we are done so here we have the storage cell remember to tear everything down bring it with you when you go back home i'm in creative so it's easier for me but now we can go back so i'll meet you there in a cut so safe and sound we are back in the overworld we can actually start to place it again and we do this in the same way but the reverse order one one block below just as we did before io port energy cell and then the two pylons here that means that we'll place it back into this 
spot on top of the bricks. So in here we place the storage cell, our button, and we click go. And here, because it's so bright, we are in the daylight, uh, so we can remove all of this, still in creative sheeting. But we can clean this up, we can make a nice water trap and prepare all of that. And then, when we are ready, we can close the roof. And you can see them starting started spawning directly. And now we have the trap here, or we can build a trap around the spawner. It's very easy, it doesn't cost too much of energy, and you still have it intact in case you want to break it later. So I think that's pretty much it. If you have any questions or comments, you know where to leave them. And well, thanks for watching, and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Take care, and bye-bye.